guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since you've seen my face it's been like what five six months i'm sorry um i am trying to branch out a little bit and trying to do something different um if you've seen my the past two three videos i put out i think last week um it was basically like a review or a recap um of reality tv shows or entertainment stuff going on so that's kind of what i'm trying to do now you know i'm trying to wet my feet a little bit you know but i hope you guys are gonna support me don't mind me if i'm looking here or here it doesn't matter first you guys are seeing my face i'll be now so today as you guys can read from the description and from the title of this video i'm gonna be talking about my united states citizenship journey a very spicy topic this is gonna be my personal journey yo. i don't know about any other persons but basically i'm gonna be talking about um, the interview process, application process, timelines, um, the questions that I was asked, how it went, the old ceremony and everything juicy. If you clicked on this video, I'm pretty sure you either are thinking of applying, have either applied, or your interview is coming up pretty soon, or you're waiting for your interview dates, your old ceremony is coming up, you've already done your old you know so many possibilities guys so many possibilities you clicked on the right video because if you've applied you may want to know a few things i gotta say or no, no not if you've applied if your interview is coming up you need to know a few things i gotta say okay okay so i applied for my citizenship um in july of 2021 uh, when I applied, I, I applied online and it was very easy. I mean, it was seamless, smooth. Um, as soon as I applied, I immediately got um, my receipt number. Um, I think a couple of days later, um, I was told that they were going to reuse my biometrics. Because usually when you apply for your citizenship, you have to go and do your biometrics, you know, again. But uh, due to COVID, I don't I don't really know if it's due to COVID because I mean biometrics never changes. My fingerprint is still the same. It's not like it's gonna change as the years go by, right? So I don't really know if it's due to COVID or I don't know. But they reused it, and I found that out um, after a couple of days. Now, guys, if you want to apply for your citizenship, I would highly suggest that you apply online. Reason being, before you get that paper notification you can already see it on your online um, on your online account right so because it usually takes about because i know it's going to be a priority mail but it's going to take about two to three days depending on when they send it for you to get it sometimes it comes earlier or sometimes it comes later about two to three days ish but if you apply online you're able to see it beforehand right you're able to see it on your online um, portal before you actually get the physical paper notice or whatever information that they sent to you. So I applied in July of 2021 and I was waiting, waiting, waiting. Now guys, if you're waiting or if you've been waiting for a while, I, I would suggest you um, get yourself acquainted with Reddit. Reddit or other um, USCIS um, communities where you know they talk about their experiences you just get a feel of what people are going through or the situation or the kind of questions that's kind of like it kind of it was like a safe haven for me because you know i got to you know read a lot of stories of people that applied since 2020 as in there are people that have applied since 2020 beginning of 2021 that are still waiting for an interview in different locations now mind you different locations have their own you know timelines not every location you know, not, not every location have the same timeline. Different locations have different timelines. You know, so, you know, I would advise that you get acquainted with the different communities. Like, if you go on Reddit and you type in USCIS um, for your location, you would get a lot of, you know, similar people in your shoes. Uh, basically, just putting in their ideas or thoughts or just venting, you know, waiting. You know, they've been waiting for a year. And, you know, it's just... It helps. It kind of it helps you also to know that okay, your location is fast or slow, or in between. Okay, so after my application in July, I'm a couple of months later. I moved to another location. Now, what I did was very risky because you can't be moving from a fast location to a slow location, right? Like I said before, different locations have different timelines. So I moved from what I heard was a very fast location 
to another location which I had no idea if it was fast or slow. As at the time that I moved, my application was already in, you know, in progress for like four, four or five months. My application was already in. And so I moved. And so, you know, when you move, you have to change your address in the USCIS portal. You know, either you contact them via Emma chat, you call them, or you can do it on the on your online portal and just let them know that you change your address, right? So they can know how to move your documents to the right location. So I did that. And guys, I'm not even playing with you. Literally, after I did that, a week later, I got a notice. Uh, I got a notification on my online portal and it said that um, someone is working on my case. And I was like, oh, that was fast. Hmm. I wasn't expecting it, right? And I was like, okay, what is going on? Because they were like, there was some kind of change to my to my case. There was a change, but I couldn't see the change on my own online portal. And so I chatted Emma Chat. Guys, if you don't know who Emma Chat is, you might want to get acquainted with Emma Chat, okay? Emma Chat will get you to, uh, I think a tier one advisor, a tier one agent. Um, they just have basically, um, they have basic, if they have basic information, the same information that you have, but sometimes they can go deep if they want to. So when I had that not notification, I got a, I got a text message and it said that there was a change to my uh, case. And I was like, well, I couldn't see the change on my portal. And so I, I chatted up Emma and I was chatting with an agent An agent was like, um, your, your case is currently in queue for interview. I was like, wait, what? What? You're telling me I've been in one location for the past four or five months and then I moved to another location a week after I'm getting an interview? Ooh. I was so excited. But mind you, I had not seen that update on my online portal. So I was constantly chatting in my chats. I was constantly talking to agents and I'm trying to figure out, wait, did I speak to the wrong agent? Did they know what they were talking about? And so I would chat every single day. I I, I think that, that period I chatted with three, four different agents and they all told me the same thing. And then I was like, I was a lot more confident that, okay, this is it. Any moment from now, I'm going to be getting my interview date. So after a couple of days, I think, after I, after like a couple of days, I got my interview date. Um, I was ecstatic. I mean, guys... I went, something just told me, it was at night, something just told me to just go check my online portal. Mind you guys, like I said earlier, you would see any updates on your online portal before you get the physical paper notice. That's the best thing about applying online. Something was like, just check your online portal, see what's going on, see if there's any change. And then I went there and I saw interview was scheduled. I got, I saw, I, I was able to um, get out the, the PDF um, I saw the date, the location, the time, and everything. I was like, oh, oh, oh. And mind you, it was a month before. So they told so they'll give you like a month for you to prepare for you for the questions and all of that. So I knew what my interview date was, I knew the time, I knew the location. Now my issue now was start studying, right? I had a hundred multiple choice questions to memorize before my interview date. It was a hassle, but I have photographic memory, so it was kind of it kind of benefited me because it was easy. It's easy for me to grasp stuff. It's easy for me to look at stuff and just catch it. So I was able to memorize the whole hundred questions in a couple of days, to be honest. But I kept on, you know, I kept on going and just studying more because you never know where the questions will come, on, you know, come out of. Uh, on the day of my interview, I was excited. Um, but scared because I I've heard about people failing that interview before. I've heard about people failing. So I was like, I'm not about to fail. I have waited for so long. I am not failing. I am going to pass. So I went in there. I went a couple of um, minutes early. Obviously, you have to go early because you have to go through security. You know, you have to show them your documents. Um, they have to give you your seat number and everything. So you have to go early. Uh, so I went in there, I sat down waiting for my turn. Let me tell you guys, that must have been the, <laughs> the longest wait ever. Longest wait ever. I got called in, was this nice lady, sat down. Uh, she started asking me questions off the bat, right? 
um, the first is going to be, uh, the first was a written exam. Uh, actually, no, the first was a verbal oral exam. And uh, mine was how many senators do we have in the United States, I think. How many senators do we have? So you would have to, you know, say it out loud because she wants to know that you can read, right? After that, you pass that one and then you have to write it out. And I had to write, we have 100 senators in the United States. That's to show that you can write. So that was done. And she came up with the questions, right? And I think she asked me about six questions. The first question was, why does the flag have 50 stars? Um, the second question was, I think it was, how many House of Rep members do we have? Um, the other question was, um, how long do we... Um, Oh, how long does a president stay in office? Um, the other question was, um, who was Martin Luther King? And I think the last question was, what was the United States um, scared of during the Cold War? I, 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 I'm not really sure, but I think that was the last question. And so I answered all the questions right. And she told me right there that I passed. And after that, she had to review... Um, the information on my application make sure that you know that information on your application you have to make sure that you were in fact the person that actually filed that application know all the information your address where you worked the address of your current work location if you're unemployed any recent changes that you have that does not reflect on your application or when you applied, you have to be forthcoming with that information. Let them know right there. And then she asked me that question and it was gravy. And then she told me to go up back outside and wait. And I was like, okay, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? I was still scared. I was like, I'm not going to be completely um, out until I actually get something that's okay. Something, something, right? And so when she told me to go wait, I was kind of optimistic. I was like, okay, because usually she would tell me to leave and, you know, just wait for an update on my uh, online portal. But she was like, wait, outside. So I was kind of optimistic. I was excited. I was like, okay, what am I waiting? I know she, did to she told me I passed. So that has to be something good, right? So um, she came in and she gave me a, a paper for my old ceremony. And it was two days later, guys. I was, who like... I I, 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 that was the moment I actually took a deep breath in because I was so tensed from when I woke up to when I drove there, when I sat down in her office, I was tensed. But I took a deep breath in and out when she gave me that paper and told me my old ceremony was two days later. It was great, right? And then two days later, my old ceremony, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, long at all it was literally less than i'm not even gonna lie less than 10 minutes we came in there we sat down they gave us our flag little flag um they give us the you know congratulations on being a united states citizen packet and all the information you need changing of social security uh, i mean updating of social security and other information that you need and we just watched a few videos and uh, we swore the oath and we were done so that was it and I um, got my passport. But uh, I mean, I know this video is kind of short. I didn't want to do the make the video long because I would have gone from the beginning to the beginning. But I was like, you know, let me start from citizenship because that's a little bit more. It's shorter and sweeter. But yeah, you know, this is my journey. Uh, this was my journey. And I'm very excited that, you know, it's over and done with. So if you are someone that is thinking of applying, have faith it's gonna come don't even fret don't be scared just study the material be confident study the material and um study your application because a lot of us applied like five seven months prior to the interview so sometimes some information can slip your mind right like let's say you were working somewhere else and you don't longer work there that information might just slip your mind but before your interview go back to your ap original application if you applied online, if you did a uh, physical paper, make sure you have a photocopy. Study, study, study your application because you, they're going to they're gonna ask you questions. They're going to ask you questions from your application. And you best 
you best defend that question, right? You best know what is in that application and also study the material. Study, study, study. Study the 100 questions because you never know where the question is going to come out from. Literally, it can come anywhere. So study, study, study. All right. Good luck to whoever is applying. Good luck to whoever wants to apply. Good luck to whoever has already applied and is waiting for the interview. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.